Keeping track of your products within Corona is easy and can be set up in just a few steps. First, make sure that you have the retail package. If you see the inventory tab on the left side of the screen, you're all set. If not, navigate to the My Corona Cloud Packages section, click Expand, and enable it. Now that you see the inventory tab, click on it and then Products. Next, click a product that you would like to track and edit it. First, make sure the Track Inventory button is checked. If it is unchecked, you will get a warning that pops up telling you that you will need to create an initial inventory. We'll take care of that later. If it is already checked, be careful. If you uncheck it, the stock for this item will be set to zero and this cannot be undone. Now click on the suppliers box to expand it. If you haven't created your suppliers yet, take some time to do that now. For more information on how to do that, please refer to the Corona Online User Manual. Then click Add. You can now enter in your supplier information, including the name, the supplier specific order code, some additional notes, and the item price. The container amount is how many you order at one time from the supplier. For example, you might order a case of soda, so we'd want to enter 24 here. Keep in mind that the item cost is for the individual item, not for the cost of the container. There are some additional fields here. The default box size can be used if you have multiple order options or are doing internal ordering. For now, leave that set at 1. The RRP is the recommended retail price. The additional costs are costs that are associated with selling the item. Perhaps you need to put it into a special package when you sell it. Add those costs here. Lastly, the last PP section can be edited if you choose, but it will automatically fill in when this item is received on a stock receipt. Save the supplier information after saving your product. You are now ready to order, receive, and track your product within Corona.